Hey guys, here's my uh, 2023 F-150 Lightning Pro. And today we're gonna be adding the uh, keypad to the side door that this does not come with. The keypad is standard on the XLT and up, but the Pro does not get it. Uh, so you basically have to use your key every time, which isn't a big deal, but not having to reach into your pocket every time and find that button and hit it is pretty nice. So uh, for a couple hundred bucks, you can install this. I'll have the, the part numbers for everything down below in the description. Uh, so you can order this up and give it a try. Uh, I'm actually re-recording this part because I thought you needed to disconnect the 12 volt, but actually I kind of don't recommend that. Um, I've actually done the install already. And uh, if you, you need to be able to take the window and go up and down a couple times to kind of move the wires around. So yeah, let's, uh, let's not disconnect the 12 volt. You can if you want, but you'll be reconnecting it like I did. So yeah, let's get to it. Uh, for the parts you need, first thing up is uh, you need the keypad. Um, then we have the trim piece with the cutout. You can actually make this yourself with the existing one on the truck. You can take a Dremel and just kind of cut out this opening, which I've seen some guys in the forums do, but uh, I was being lazy and just ordered the part. And then next up we have, this is the USB to OBD2, so we can plug our laptop in. There are some codes you're gonna have to enter into Forescan to uh, unlock this feature. If you just install it, nothing's gonna happen. The truck won't recognize it or do anything. So you need to tell the computer basically that it's there. Um, and then honestly, I'm not sure about what tools I'm gonna need, but I figured these will come up. So the main one is the tr uh, trim pry tool, a couple screwdrivers, some bits for my drill or my impact drill. And then, um, yeah, hopefully that's everything. If there's anything else, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, for the first couple, bolts you got to remove there are two down here at the bottom and they're both seven millimeter uh, most of these are actually going to be seven millimeter sockets so break that out if you have an extended one that'll help just with clearance uh, but yeah so get out the seven millimeter socket and you could hook, hook it up to your impact or or uh, just a socket wrench will work fine all right once you got those bottom two out the next one is underneath this little reflector here so we're going to pop this off with a small flathead screwdriver and then undo that one Okay, once you got that off, just get your seven millimeter, zip that right off. Okay, next we're gonna go inside and underneath the handle, there is this access panel. We're gonna get a pry tool, stick it under here. And we're gonna pry this. Corner out, there we go. Then we're gonna just kind of work it out. Sorry, I had to put it down for a second just so I could uh, get it, but you can see there's two like push pins and then the bottom kind of pulls out. So this sits like this. So you can pull it out from the top and then the bottom will just come right up. All right, okay, and then uh, underneath this panel, we have two seven millimeters. We'll just zip right out. Okay, next up, we're gonna pop this guy off right here. And actually, we'll go towards the top and then just work it out there we go another couple push pins not a problem and then after taking that off there is one more seven millimeter right in here so we'll zip that off too okay that's going to do it for all the bolts so next up we're going to just kind of work our way around and just kind of pull it's, it's still held in with some pins but we'll just go around and work them out one by one and then afterwards remember to disconnect the wiring um to the switches and controls i'm actually gonna put my phone down for this because i'm gonna need both hands but if there's any other anything i get hung up on i'll let you guys know okay so after you get the door panel off um there's a couple of switches you can pull they're just pins or tabs you can just press those tabs and these come out this one also it, just a couple tabs you can pull that out this one, however, is a bit more complicated, so I'm not even gonna touch that. There should be plenty of room. So I'll just let this, this kind of hang here. I'm gonna put something to support that. And then next up, you wanna pull this trim around the window, just kind of work this off. And then if you could see in this gap, you can see there's some more. There's a couple, uh, looks like seven millimeter bolts. So take those off and hopefully this thing should pop right off. Okay, once you get those four bolts out, this thing basically pulls out and then you can unhook it like that. And then there we go, that thing's off. You can see a couple holes there. This is where our connections are gonna go. And uh, then now the hard part's gonna begin. How do we get those our hand in there to get these connections to uh, connect to the plug that's in there? So, all right, let's see what we can do. 
Okay, I have this thing. I had this thing apart and semi put back together. But I actually, there were two ways the wires can go. One is kind of that way, and one is way up against the corner and and, uh, and down there. I tried going that way and tried putting it back together, but unfortunately, the window um, there was almost no way to avoid the window hitting the wire as it was coming down because it kind of pushes it out that it pushes it that way, and then you got to come back in, and the window is really close to the side of the door, so no way to do that. So I, I took it back out, went down this other passage right here. And I believe when I take the window back up, I'll be able to reach in and kind of grab it and pull it over here. So here's the window. The plug is like right there. So I can get that fish. It looks like there's a path to do that. So I think that's the way it's supposed to go. Um, so uh, sorry I didn't record that, but I was just monkeying with it for the last 45 minutes or so. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, I'm gonna put the window back up, put this back together, see if we can get that plug and make sure there's no uh, contact with the window. Okay, success. We got this uh, plugged in right here. And that thing, that looks like it's far enough back where it's not gonna affect it. I've, um, that plug can go right there. A little plug pin um, thing I'm talking about. And then what I forgot to say, when I was pushing in that corner piece over here, the wiring, it's hard to push a wire obviously down something, especially when it's got these plugs that are a little bit too big. So what I actually used was this Harbor Freight tool. It's like a little magnetic tool and it's flexible. So you can uh, reach down. It's for picking up like bolts and stuff that you drop in an engine bay but I was able to reach down with this and kind of push the wire down enough. And then once I rolled the window back up, I could actually reach over and grab it. So yeah, looks like it's all hooked up. So I'm gonna get this back together and then we can plug in the laptop and see if we can get this thing to work. Okay, got it all back together. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just zip the, everything back together. Uh, a couple screws here and there. We get the little uh, reflector, push everything back in. Oh, I actually got to do that too. That's over there somewhere. And then this is what it looks like. I still have the tape on here. I'm going to pull that off um, once I know it works. If it doesn't work and I need to return it, I'm just going to leave that on so it doesn't get all scratched up. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm pretty happy so far. And that next step, I'm downloading Forescan. I've actually never used it before. So um, I'll give you my thoughts on how easy it is to use. But yeah, downloading right now. Hopefully we can get this thing plugged in and turned on just in a couple minutes. Okay, we got the laptop all hooked up. And I've actually already done this and it works. So I'll just show you guys where the where the codes are that you need to change. So I got everything plugged in here. So we'll go over to the right to the modules right here. And then the first one you wanna do is APIM, not the as built, you wanna do, uh, do this one right here. So you can go to that one, then we'll click on run down here. Um, open that up. It's gonna do its thing, and then you can filter it. Just type in keypad, or just type in key, and you should see um, door keypad code. And then you want to enable that. I've already done that. Enable that, right? Stop, and it'll ask you to cycle the truck. And so you do that one, and then go back here, and we're gonna to go to the body control module. So where is that? So that's gonna be down here. It's gonna be a. Where is it? Body C, body CM. So we'll do that lower one, the non as built. Click on that, we'll run it. Yada, 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 doing its thing. And then same thing, we can filter by keypad. Here it is, keypad. And then you wanna put it to a hard hardwire input. Change that, it should be disabled or something. Um, before that, you change it to a hardwire input. So write that, um, cycle the truck on and off. Then you can go out of this and uh, get this all closed up. And yeah, we'll give it a try. Okay, so here's the keypad. Um, you should have a five digit code that will probably be in your glove box. Um, when I bought the truck, it came with all the paperwork. Uh, like I said, it's five, it's pretty obvious. It says something about key password or something like that. And when you punch that in, it will unlock just the front door. And then if you press these two, it will unlock all the doors. I think it unlocks the tailgate too. And then to lock the truck, you just press these two. You, you can probably hear that click right there. So yeah, this is success. I think there's something you can do to open the trunk too. So um, that's an option. Um, I, I'm not really sure off the top of my head how to do that. I think it's one other press or you hold three buttons or something like that. But um, if, I, if I figure it out, I'll put it in the description below. But yeah, overall this was a success. Um, some of the guys on the forums were saying this is pretty difficult. It wasn't too bad. The, the hardest part was basically getting the, this wiring 
figuring out where to go. Like I said, there's two ways you can go. There's one that goes down in this way, and there's one that kind of hugs this outside part. You want to go on this side. I tried this side, but it kicks the wires out in such a way that it was impossible to avoid running into the uh, the window when it went down. So I took that back out and then went down this way, and it was pretty easy. Um, it's a pretty small hole, though, so getting it through there, you're going to need something to kind of ram it down there. Um, if you don't do that, it's going to be pretty difficult. Uh, the wire is just going to get bunched up and jammed. So, yeah, like I said, I used that tool from Harbor Freight. And, um, yeah, that's it. It wasn't too difficult. Uh, so hopefully this, this helps you guys. Um, if you need any, uh, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know in the comments below. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.